Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Children's Dental Health Month, which starts tomorrow, which is February. Uh, so uh, we're going to be talking about that and maybe treatment of children's teeth as far as dental dentistry is concerned. So we're going to talk about a number of different issues this month because it is going to be this coming month because it's going to be Children's Dental Health Month. Now, the first topic we're going to discuss, which is today, um, is how many teeth do children usually have uh, when they have their baby teeth and when to expect them to come in. So those are kind of vague and I'm going to give you as best an answer as I can because I do want you to just keep in mind every child is unique. So I'm giving you kind of ballpark type of estimates. Um, some kids have teeth that come in early, some late. So every child is different and unique. That said, I will be using this model right here, as you can see, this pediatric model, which was provided to me by the very awesome pediatric dentist named Dr. Nick Gordon. And so for today, this will be helping us out. So how many teeth do children usually have? They usually have 20. There are 20 baby teeth, typically. Now, barring anomalies. Now, of course, you know those are when there could be too many or too few, depending on a whole bunch of different circumstances. But children usually have 20 teeth. 10 on the upper and 10 on the lower. Now, some of these may look a little bit different from the others if you're looking at them closely. Uh, that's because they've been worked on um, by Dr. Gordon when he was in his pediatric residency. So uh, a few of them look a little bit different, but that's what to expect. There should be 20 baby teeth. And in this model, there are 20 baby teeth and there are four adult teeth in this particular model. So you're seeing more than 20, but that's because the last molars that are there are adult molars in this case. So 20 baby teeth is a normal number. Now, when do they come in? That can be very, very different depending on the child. So some kids are born practically with teeth already in the mouth. Now, again, very rare, but it does happen. More often than not, usually sometime in the first six to 12 months, uh, the first teeth do start to move in. You know, you notice more, maybe more salivating or slobbering and biting on things and, you know, they'll say kids are teething. Well, they are. Uh, so usually the first six to 12 months, you'll get your first few teeth. Um, you know, some kids are early. Uh, my daughter at about five, five and a half months was getting her first two teeth. So every child is unique. And some kids are late. You know, some kids, their first teeth don't come in until 12 or 13 months. So I wouldn't really start to fret until maybe after, you know, the first 15 to 16 months and there's nothing in the mouth. Uh, that may be a little bit of a unique situation. Uh, but I would consult with a pediatric dentist about that if that's the case. So when do the other teeth come in? Uh, anywhere, usually between, again, birth and two to two and a half years. So the baby teeth, all 20, by about two and a half years should all be in. Now, if it's three years old, the child is three years old, and some of the baby teeth still aren't there for whatever reason, again, in the back, that is the molars, I would probably have a pediatric dentist take a closer look um, at that point because that's a little unusual. But usually by two, two and a half, pretty much all the baby teeth are in the mouth and uh, being used. That is, they're all fully erupted and they're being used to chew food. So uh, that being the case, I appreciate you joining me in my video. Thank you so much for joining and watching and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.